Now let's review the ventral view of the sheep brain. Here's the olfactory bulb, which relays smell signals from the olfactory epithelium in your nasal passages to the brain. Roughly where the olfactory bulb meets the brain is the beginning of this sulcus, which continues all the way back, just like that. That's the rhinal fissure. And all the cortex medial to that is the piriform cortex. Here it is over on the other side. Rhinal fissure and piriform cortex all in here. And also this part here is the piriform cortex. Right here, you've got a little line that's a little bit lighter in color and a little bit raised up, a little ridge. That's the lateral olfactory tract. Axons, white matter, that's conveying information from the olfactory bulb to the piriform cortex. Right here and right here, the optic nerves have been cut off. They would have come out like this and like this, and they would have carried visual information from the retina at the back of the eyeball, right about here, back to the brain. Right here where the two optic nerves meet is the optic chiasm. About half the axons from each optic nerve cross over to the other side of the brain at the chiasm. The other half stay on the same side. Those axons then form the optic tract right here and right here. Those axons, as we'll see later, make a synapse in the lateral geniculate nucleus of the thalamus. Right here, we've got the mammillary bodies. This is the, old, the oculomotor nerve, one of three cranial nerves that controls eye movements. This is the largest. Here's another one, actually, right here, the trochlear and then the abducens. You don't have to know those, but that's them. This structure here is the cerebral peduncle. Peduncle means stalk. This is the stalk of the cerebrum. It's the cerebral peduncle or cerebral stalk right there and right there. Caudal to that, you'll find the pons right here and from about here over to there. Coming out of either side of the pons, before you get to the, the cerebellum here, you'll find the trigeminal nerve right there. Sometimes you'll have a nice big stump, sometimes you'll have a small stump, sometimes, like on this specimen, you won't have any stump at all over here. But this is where it would have been attached. Just caudal to the pons, this is the pons, just caudal to that is the medulla, which goes from here to about here. So there's the medulla and then the spinal cord from here back.